the wall there. Nice 
But we must! Mushrooms? No. No, we can't. Yes. 
No enemies can stop us. Well, we did just beat them.
Time to go to work. Must be the machines Dr. Mathis was hiding. Marna will be walking in no time with this. Wait, those are Spyrex. Soren, get away from those! Huh? But I need these. I said get away! It's dangerous! No way! I'm impressed you could anticipate that. I just remembered my old accident. That was how I got hurt when I was a kid. I was playing with the Spyrex in the docks room when it blew up, like that one did just now. That was how you got injured? Why did Dad have something so dangerous? Oh no. No way. It's not my place to tell you. You'll have to ask Derek yourself. You're the one who hid those Spyrexes in the old Vakal mine, aren't you? Why did you have them in the first place? Because I'm not from here. I came to Riza Maxia from Olympias 20 years ago. Derek was a passenger on the Zenithra, just like I was. After wandering throughout this world, I decided to settle down here after I met your mother. Then that would make me... Half Riza Maxian and half Olympian. You must be pretty shocked, huh? Actually... Not really. Hmm. Huh. Didn't see that reaction coming. Is a medical Asperixis just a Spyrex then? They're similar, yet very different. Asperixis are modified to channel the mana produced by one's mana lobe. They don't kill spirits, but as you know, there's a separate price to pay. Having to endure the physical pain. I only learned that Spyrexes kill spirits after I came to Riza Maxia. Once I knew the truth, I could no longer use Spyrexes in good conscience. But Dad, we found another option. If you create a Spyrite, you don't have to worry about Spyrexes killing spirits anymore. A Spyrite? I see. If Spyrites become commonplace, the downside of Spyrexes goes away. But for that to happen... Riza Maxia and Olympias will need to find common ground and work together. That will take a great deal of time and effort. Neither the pain of physical therapy nor the effort required for mutual understanding are easy to endure. There is always a cost required of any major undertaking. That much is true, no matter which world you're from. Yeah. I want to try physical therapy. I don't want Sorin running off and getting himself hurt because of me. That's great! Sorin, make sure to support her, okay? I know. Don't worry. I've got this. Leia, I'm so sorry. If I had only stored the Spyrex properly, you would never have been hurt. It's fine, really. If I hadn't gotten hurt, I would have never gotten to know Jude. Certainly not well enough to fill a hundred pages of notes about him. Mila! What are you talking about? Nothing! Never mind. That was just... girl talk.
I'm beat. I need a good night's sleep. Tell me, Jude, do you know what the greatest challenge is for a soldier on the battlefield? Uh, fighting, I guess? No. In fact, it's getting enough sleep. It's surprisingly difficult. You don't know when the enemy will attack. You don't know if you'll still be alive tomorrow. Sleeping amidst worries like that is a challenge for even the most experienced of soldiers. So what do you do when you're in that situation? Take a deep breath, relax, and look all around. See that your friends and companions are there. Friends that keep watch while you rest. Friends that risk their lives in battle together. And friends that suffer from the same fears as you. Right. There are few things more reassuring than knowing that others share the same fears. But maybe I only feel that way because I'm a bitter, selfish old man. <sighs> that makes two of us. <laughs> it's good to know we share such an odd common ground. Guess I better do something with Mom's house. And while I'm at it, I should see Isla too. <laughs> <laughs> 